Well, this is the first book you've had published. It's called The Dead of Winter, and it's set in Montreal. And what happens in this book? Well, the book starts Christmas Eve with the discovery of five bodies of, of homeless people throughout, uh, throughout Montreal, uh, more or less close to the metro system. Um, there's a fellow found sleeping on a concrete floor in a bus shelter, which is just next to a metro station. There's another poor lady found wrapped up in, in sleeping bags and blankets, sleeping on a, a concrete entrance to a parking garage underneath the, uh, the heat from an air vent. Uh, there's somebody found on a metro station uh, inside the grill. Secret places favored by the homeless as places of shelter. They go to sleep, they don't wake up. And Luc Vanier is called out at 11.30 or 12 o'clock on Christmas Eve um, to investigate these deaths. Luc Vanier is a police officer, main protagonist, the, an inspector with the Montreal um, Serious Crime Squad, and we begin by taking a tour through the, the scenes of the deaths and um, follow him from there. And Montreal also has very cold winters, and you've set your novel in the dead of winter, as it says. I, 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 I'm <laughs> sure you guys in Plattsburgh know cold winters too. People actually sleep outside during the coldest nights of the winter. And, and the book explores some of that, that the thinking behind that. What, what drives people out into the, into the streets when presumably there are beds available, et cetera. So a lot of, a lot of the victims, of many of the victims were found in sort of hiding holes where vents come out from garages, for example. So you wouldn't freeze to death. You found your, your safe place of sanctuary outside in the street in minus 20 degrees. Um, that's, that's a Montreal winter. So you're writing about these very poignant topics of homelessness, for example. Why is that such an important topic for you? I think with, with crime novels, the story is obviously driving everything. But just story is probably, as far as I'm concerned, it's not enough. I mean, there's character. Character is super interesting. But there's also the ability to talk about issues that you want to talk about. It's a vehicle that you can now say to somebody, have you noticed this person walking down the street pushing the supermarket trolley? Have you ever thought about what kind of life that they lead? Have you thought about where they come from? How did they get there? Because they likely didn't wake up one day and say, I want to be homeless, I want to be on the street, I want to be um, out of control completely with, you know, um, at the mercy of all the elements. And people have said to me after reading the book, and uh, this is probably one of the great things about you know, audience feedback, they say, I saw one of those people that you were talking about, and it made me think. You know, and that's, so talking about those kinds of issues, we all, want, we all have messages that we want to get across, and, and that's one way to get it. It's, it's a subtle way to get across a message, but some of the, my favorite crime fiction always has these observations of what drives the author crazy in society. Did you know where this book was headed when you started writing it? Uh, no. Um, in fact, what I had been doing up till then is writing stories. And writing short stories is huge fun because you can simply start with an idea or a line. And all of a sudden, by the third or fourth paragraph, you're beginning to see, well, wait a second, I got a story there. So on this one, did the same thing. I was sitting, it, it's kind of a sad story. I was sitting Christmas Eve myself alone in an apartment, um, feeling very you know, sorry for myself. And I decided, well, one of the things I could do is write about somebody who's in that situation, thinking that I'd come out with a short story, uh, three or 4,000 words. But once I put the character down on paper and sent him out on the street, it, it came very quickly. The first sort of 80, 100 pages came very quickly. It was a, it was a story that, that sort of naturally just evolved. So you mentioned your main character is sitting alone on Christmas Eve. How does he get out onto the street? What sends him out? 
he gets a call uh, from one of his uh, colleagues saying, you know, I'm very sorry to wake you up. He's not, he's not asleep. He's sitting there drinking Jameson, listening to Patsy Cline. Um, and I hope he's locked away his gun because if you, you know, on Christmas Eve, you're drinking Jameson, listening to Patsy Cline, you've got to be in bad shape. Um, so he was glad to get the call and he goes off to join his colleague in one of the metro stations and then takes a tour of where the bodies were found. And so we do a, a, a tour and then he, that's his Christmas Eve. Well, people will have a chance to meet you later this month. You're going to be appearing at the Blue Metropolis Montreal International Literary Festival. What will you be doing there? Blue Metropolis is a festival in Montreal that's been going on for, uh, I think now, close to 20 years. And it brings in authors from all over the world. It's a, um, what I'm going to be there, I'm billed to do a reading. Um, if anybody has, has seen me do readings, they, they might stay away, but I, I won't be doing a reading. I'll be doing a talk. I'll be telling stories. And I, I imagine that the other people on the panel as well, the other writers will be doing the same thing engaging with the audience as opposed to lecturing the audience or reading to them. Um, but just to say a, a few words about the festival, um, the festival itself is a great opportunity for um, people who like books, people who like writing, people who think they might want to start writing, people who have been writing for a long time and want to continue writing. It's just a, it's a great meeting place and it's become one of the most important literary festivals in Canada. Colm Tobin, for example, is, is one of the, uh, the big writers that's going to be in attendance. But there's an opportunity to meet other writers, to meet um, other people that are interested in writing. But there's also all kinds of workshops, hands-on type events that people can go to. For example, I was looking at one young fiction authors and how young fiction authors can, can inject fire into their, into their work, etc. Across the spectrum, in terms of genres, in terms of people, in terms of cultures, um, all over the world, writers are coming. Um, I'd recommend you're going to have fun if, if you go up to Montreal.